They might not look like Olympians, but they are. Did you guys go out last night? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the weekend on a, one of our weekends off, so, you know, we went out and had a little fun. This is the 2010 U.S. Olympic curling team. Our last seven games of the Olympic trials, we wore the same shirts. <laughs> Generally, if we're on a winning streak, we're not changing. I don't care how stinky they are, we're not changing. <laughs> Basically, if you guys do well in the Olympics, we should not go near you. <laughs> but despite their less than intense workout regimen, don't be fooled. When the team gets on the ice, they are serious competitors. It takes a, a very, very long time and a lot of practice rocks and, and games to develop into the kind of player and team that we are. Go out there and curl for two years and come out there and play in a game against us and probably score a few points, but um, come out there and, and beat us on a regular basis uh, it may take you five or ten years. Captained by 2006 bronze medalist John Schuster, the team has their sights set on Vancouver in search of another medal. You can actually, you know, fit a beer bottle through there. So. The team might joke around a lot, but their dedication is unquestioned. I can remember as, as far back as I can remember watching the Olympics and want, wanting to be there. And uh, to, to win a medal, a gold medal at, at, at the Olympics for the United States would be great for the sport. And let's be honest, the sport could use a little attention. Many Americans don't even know what curling is. So here are some quick facts. Curling originated in Scotland over 400 years ago. And to this day, curling rocks are made of granite that is only found in one place a small island off the coast of Scotland that even looks a little bit like a curling stone. Despite curling's rich history, it wasn't until 1998 that it was officially recognized as an Olympic sport. You're throwing big rocks and swooping in front of them, and to the average person it makes no sense. So let's break it down. A team is made up of four players, the skip, the lead, the second, and the third. Curlers wear one completely smooth shoe for sliding and one textured shoe for gripping the ice. The game is divided into 10 ends, similar to a baseball inning. In every end, each teammate throws two rocks, totaling eight rocks across the ice and into the house. The house actually, uh, it looks like a big bullseye. Uh, what's funny is that the, the colors of the rings make no difference. Every rock's worth just one point. So the team with the rock closest to the center of the house after eight turns, gets a point for that end. The concept is simple enough, but it's easy to get lost in the details. Like today, I was showing, we were talking about like throwing a draw. I was trying to throw a 345, right? Well, on curling ice, like five hundredths of a second equates to like five feet. I can actually kick out and slide out and be within like three hundredths. If you didn't understand that, don't worry, neither did I. So I got John Schuster to walk me through the basics. See here, first part. Gonna be just, just getting the rock loose, second part, hips up and back. Kind of pausing for a second to, to get my bearings and then you can see me drive forward and deliver the stone. And then there's the sweeping. Lots and lots of sweeping. Yep. It's hard to see, but the surface of the ice is covered with raised ice droplets. Sweepers are hurrying to flatten the droplets when a stone is thrown. By sweeping very hard and putting a lot of pressure on the room, we create friction. It doesn't travel faster, we can't change its direction. It's just allowing the stone to travel further. When everything works together, it looks like this. After a quick lesson, I think I'm ready to give it a shot. You're a natural. And, oh, wow, and he, no, no, we're not supposed to throw those two rocks. Come on, now. Sweet, three, four. Come on, let's go. Get it across. That might be a failing grade. <laughs> a lot harder than it looks. Oh, easy now. This is Sean Gregory, reporting for Time.com. Yeah, like, it's not easy. <laughs>